Hello and welcome on into this iRacing video. In this video we're going to be testing various GTE cars. We're going to be taking a look at a lap around Laguna Seca in each one. Looking at my general feel, handling, top speed. Obviously we'll compare the lap times at the end of the video. Now um, GTEs I do run a lot more um, the BMW. So while that might lean a little heavy towards the BMW, I'll do what I can to extract a true feel for you and uh, see how it feels over the three hot laps I'll set in each car. But just bear in mind that I run the BMW GTE quite often, whereas I um, haven't run the others at all. So we'll get into it and see how it goes. Okay, here we are in the BMW M8 GTE, uh, the car I usually run in GT GTE field. However, I don't believe I've used this car in this track combo, which is great. And I also chose this track because um, we get to show off the benefits of the downforce of the GTEs compared to the GT3 counterparts. Plus it's an awesome circuit. Once you've learnt it, it can be a difficult one to learn because uh, well, the sand isn't as forgiving as grass. And um, lots of precise bends here with uh, good throttle output needed but if you hit the braking marks and learn this track it's very rewarding not to mention the chicane or the hairpin or the, the drop the nightmare bend you'll know it when you see it no, it makes for really good racing top of this hill ok, just using this as an outlet get used to the vehicle see what we can do. Right, the BMW, really planted, oozes confidence, good trail braking control, good brakes, good all-rounder, feels like there's lots of speed on output, good gearing. Okay, lost a little speed on exit there, but we'll see what we can do. This is our first hot lap. there but we've got a good exit it is a very precise car you find it's quite easy to hit your apexes you get a good feed feel of the feedback through the brakes to through the sound and the, through the wheel and where you're at braking wise and uh, not to lock up or Look at that, there you go. Just hit my marks there and uh, rewarded with good pace. Need good braking for this bend. Good timing with the turn in. And if you have a good first gear, then you can pull out of there like lightning. Good trail braking needed here. And then this is momentum. Must get this apex. Got my gearing a bit wrong there, but quite an important bend. He says, going a little bit long. Oh, I've done that twice now in the BMW. On exit there, losing a bit of time. Okay, lap two. That was a 122.2, it looked like. Oh, I've gone long. Oh, no. <laughs> well, at least we've ruled out that. That me having the BMW as my normal car would influence the results me picking Laguna Seca where I haven't used this car yet was the perfect choice right, I think that first lap was uh, pretty quick felt very confident that I tried to just push that a little bit faster I'll rein it in on lap 3 just to hit our marks and put down the power confidently it is a very fast car this one though does leave you feeling very confident, which I've turned into overconfidence. But this is just a hot take, three laps, three hot laps in each vehicle. The results are as is. Ok, 
Okay. 122.272 to beat. Let's keep an eye on the green meter. It's the wrong colour at the moment. Nice exit. Yeah, very planted car. It does leave you feeling, I know I've said this, but confidence is a nice word to have in a car. I'm making little mistakes there on exit, I've noticed, but it's quite a sandy circuit, this one. My Thunderfoot's not really uh, paying dividends here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That wasn't driver skill. That was the car just falling right into the correct groove. Oh, I was a bit hesitant on throttle there. We're green though. Oh, I've gone a little long. I had to pull it back a bit. And as you can see, that really costs. Oh, yep, no off track. Off track there. Okay, still, I think a 22.2 is going to be competitive. That felt good. Um, 22.7 there on a on a on a messy lap. Okay, let's jump in the next car. Okay, here we are in the Ferrari 488 GTE, an extremely popular GTE choice with GTE drivers alike. So, let's see if we can show why. Awesome sounding car. Puts a smile on your face. This pit lane exit doesn't put a smile on my face. But once I get the throttle pedal down and play the soundtrack, it'll be back. Okay. Wow, handling feels nice. It's early, but this feels really planted. Trail braking gets the nose around nicely. It's a well balanced car already. Okay, we can definitely push this Ferrari. Just trying to get a feel for my brake in. Force feedback. Three laps is not a long time to get to learn a car, but obviously I, I want that to come across. It, not everyone's an experienced GT driver. If you're new and you want to know how a car's going to feel for you, I'm going to try and replicate that by, well, apart from the BMW being very new to all these cars. First time driving this car and, um, pretty impressed already. Right, let's try our first hot lap, but this car feels like it just could gobble up anything I throw at it. Let's try now the exit. Oh, I got a bit wide, but hey, we'll have the top speed. I managed to get the throttle down. Okay, start of our first out lap. Hot lap, sorry. Oh, I got on the dirt, but it's forgiven me. Let's get on the power early. There you go. What a car. Yeah, didn't nail that. I'm letting the car down. Come on. Bit too much there. This car's a forgiving car. Okay. Come on, David. I can do better than this. Car's begging for more. That's better. It's got a lot of power down on exit. The torque feel is um, impressive, and the brakes are also. I mean, look at that tough bend. The first time driving it, the brakes spoke to me just nicely. Trail braking's nice. I could have been better there, but yeah, I'm feeling the love from this car. Okay, first hot lap, let's see what that is. One twenty two six. Alright, we can do better. Damn. Okay, a better exit there. 
but considering this is a slippy track, the car has bags of grip. Get on the power, get on the power, get on the power, there we go. Green, green, green. Oh, I turned a bit early, but I managed to save it. We only lost a few thousandths there. Hundredths, sorry. Uh, thought I turned a bit early there, but we made it work. I had no off track. Come on. I missed the mark there a little bit, but good exit and speed. Carried the lap time through. Let's keep the momentum going. Excellent. Come on now, this. There you go. We're either going to faster. Right. Last hot lap. I'll do what I can. 22.4. Ah, just can't get this bend in the Ferrari. I'll try and salvage it with a really aggressive exit. There you go, we're green. I risked the hot lap there though. Ah. Come on, Carl. I have to say I am very impressed. This car's made me a Ferrari fanboy in a few laps. Oh, I've overcooked it. Alright, we'll finish out the lap. That was my fault. I was trying to hunt back the lap time that wasn't there. But I have to say, guys, really planted car. Very responsive. Really impressive. Brakes are good. Steering's good. The reaction to trail braking's on point. Look at that. The nose comes around. Carries momentum really well. <laughs> no, I like this car a lot. Yeah, really nice car. Okay, obviously at the end I'll compare the lap times and take a look at the top speed. Alright, what's up next? Let's jump into the next car. Okay, here we are in the Ford GT GTE. And I say that with a smile on my face because I've been looking forward to driving this car. I'm a bit of a Ford fan. And um, I heard lots of bad things about this car in iRacing, but I would love to prove everybody wrong, <laughs> but hey. Uh, okay, fantastic sounding. Strange looking on my triple screen. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, I was uh, admiring the inside of this vehicle. Obviously, we know it's a strange looking car. That's why we love it. Alright, let's learn our braking points. Cockpit view does the cockpit view does look a lot different than I'm used to. Oh, steering feels really smooth. Okay, this car's gonna take a little bit more getting used to. Hopefully the outlap will be long enough. Okay, come on. I wouldn't say it's as planted as the um, BMW and certainly the Ferrari, but it doesn't feel unstable. Because it's got good power on out bends. Trail braking feels nice. It's a nice calm car at the moment. We'll see once we start to push. All right. May the force be with me. Here comes the first top lap. Oh, I've run long. Come on, Ford. Right, we should have, still have some good speed. But we get three laps. Braking feels a little bit different in this car as well. The other two felt quite similar. Well, there you go, it worked that time. Come on, get your get round. Ooh, easy, Tiger. Nice car. Let's see what she's capable of. Bags of grip. I want to say confident exits, but I had a bit of an oversteer, but I think I just slapped my throttle pedal down a bit fast. And the understeer there on the T1, T2, whatever you call it, the end of the straight. Um, 
I don't think I got my trial breaker just right. Well, there goes hot lap one. Brakes feel very different in this car. I'm not getting as much feedback through the wheel. Come on, Ford. I want you to do well. <laughs> right, let's try that again. It's now the exit this time. And this cup. Right, I need to be more gentle on the throw. Okay, so I'm already calling it. Not for beginners, this car. If you're new to GTE, sure you could learn it, sure you can get a good setup. But as far as jumping in, I can easily make an assessment there compared to the previous two I've driven. But my comments about this feeling like a good car are still true. Makes me want to learn it. Come on, I'm missing apexes. It does feel quite raw. Ay ay ay, come on. I can do better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Just not making apexes yet in this car. Need a good lap. I'm thinking that was not a good lap. Let's hopefully it proves us wrong. 23.8. It's not a good lap. She feels like a heavy car. Trail braking, at least for me. Struggling to get the nose round on that bend. Obviously, with time and practice and a setup, and get it right. But the whole point of these videos was the baseline, first time attempts. Ah, uh, I'm not going to be able to do this for justice. I'm afraid, not in this limited time. The front end bite's not 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 as there as much. The braking, somewhere between locking up and maximum efficiency, seems smaller. There's an apex there, I know it. Oh, there you go. At least we ended with a good exit. Okay, that was the Ford's attempt. 123.4. Alright, let's jump in our last car. Okay, welcome on into the Porsche 911 RSR. Or as iRacing's calling it right now, the Porsche 991. I'm not sure what that's all about. As far as I know, it's the Porsche 911 RSR. I digress. It's the GTE. Um, excited and nervous to try this car. Uh, looks like a fantastic car to drive. It looks like you need a fantastic driver to drive it. <laughs> I'll try and do it justice. Wow, that feels zoomed in. Um, I said I'd leave everything default. Let's see what she can do. Wow, feels like a monster. Not the ideal cockpit view, but I'll make it work. Whew. Feels really loose on handling. I haven't decided that's a good or bad thing yet. I'll let you know when I do some hot laps. I've always wanted to try this car though. Handling's on point. Wow. Ok, 
Okay. Brakes feel uh, different. Just trying to sorry, trying to use this lap to learn the car really quickly. Handling's amazing. That I can tell you already. Brakes. Don't know. Let's see. So this is the baseline setup. Ah, could have been cleaner there. Damn it, missed the apex by a good country mile there. Still a nice feeling car. Rear slipped a little bit. Rear slipped a little, but it re-grabbed, so it's fine. A bit more temperament over bumps. Bit of a snap there. But it settled itself back down again. Just about made that stick. Oh, nice. Nice, that felt good at the end there. I am super curious to see what lap time this can do. 123.1, okay. Let's try and go green. Green, green, green. This is good. There's that apex again, damn it. The exit was a bit better. The sound of this is um, very high pitched. Very Porsche-esque. Dry bacon's a little bit different in this car. It seems to almost hop between its points rather than like a linear, smooth feel. Oh. No pressure. Last hot lap. Yeah, it's um. I'm going to rule it out for uh, anyone new to the car. Obviously, as you can see, it's a car you're going to have to learn. I'll bring this lap home just to iron out my thoughts. Handling is nice. Um, you do get a lot of um, front end input, which is nice. However, I find I'm getting a lot of slide. Um, the brakes require a very delicate foot. Unlike most Porsches, the throttle doesn't seem to be, um, there might be the traction control, but the throttle feels really nice and kind on you. Uh, the braking, don't get me wrong, there are times where I'm loving it, it feels really planted, but the overall experience doesn't feel as planted as, um, say, the Ferrari and the um, BMW. A driver's car, this one, for sure. But I'm pretty sure that was the intro of the car. <laughs> Giving me a car. Um, tough car, tough car, but um, that's a shame. But no, I still thoroughly enjoyed driving it. All right, let me hop out the car and we'll run through the results. Okay, so now for my conclusions. Um, that was really fun trying out all the GT cars. They're very impressive. They're in their own right. Lots of downforce, lots of speed. 
Okay, the results from last to first. In last was, unfortunately, the beloved Ford GT. Um, with a 123.4, top speed of 143. Um, I wanted to love that car. Um, I bet you could get to love that car with the right setup and the right learning time. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone new to the GTE series. You can get up to speed in the um, BMW or the Ferrari much easier. Um, so while I passionately love the car in real life, uh, it just wasn't to be. Um, I haven't ruled it out. I did find it a really good car to drive uh, with the right setup. But as I say, we have choices. Um, so I'm not sure it would be my choice right now. Okay, on to the next one. The Porsche 911 RSR with a 123, 153, top speed of 144. Um, this was an interesting one. It was a driver's car for sure. And three and a half laps from me is not enough to become a driver of that car. Steering on it was impressive. Uh, the overall feel of the car was uh, really impressive. The braking, the trail braking, it was something that you'd have to learn. Um, so once again, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone new to the GT series. It's a skill you need to craft out. Um, overall, though, it was obviously three tenths a lap quicker than the Ford, um, but it's not something I would want to be in for forty minutes to an hour unless you've put in the 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 time. And as I say, it comes down to the fact we've got four to pick from, so it wouldn't be my choice. Okay, in second. Um, I was surprised by this, the Ferrari 488 GTE, fantastic car to drive on all levels, um, a much, much faster time than the previous two now, a 122 468, top speed of 145, now that extra top speed probably came from the confidence coming out of the last bend, hammer it down the straight, confident on the brake, so, you know, I mean, the one constant in these times and the video was, I'm the driver. First time ever driving the 488, and I was impressed. I was up to speed straight away. Um, everything about it felt good. I don't really have a qualm. It, trail braking felt on point. Brakes were brilliant. It leaves you very confident in the feedback you're getting through. Um, I was very impressed. That is a, It was a really good car to drive. Um, I'd actually lean on that, probably, as my choice for newcomers. Um, very well-rounded. I don't believe I made many mistakes. Um, and as I say, that was my first three laps in it. So I was thoroughly impressed by that car and uh, it was a good lap time. Okay, first place. We saw it coming. The BMW M8 GTE. Obviously, it's a hugely popular car right now because of its. Um, the BOP seems to be leaning heavy towards it. Uh, lap time of 122.272. Top speed of 145. So let's not forget that I drive this car. So keep that in mind. Um, I haven't drove it around Laguna Seca, so that hopefully helped. And I did actually make a few more mistakes in the BMW than I did in the Ferrari. Now, whether that was obviously my full sense of um, confidence because I'm used to the car, but I tried to keep it... I tried to drive each car progressively as I felt the brakes and the steering and the bends coming up. I tried to just evolve bend by bend, but um, I'm, I'm only human. So this car was two tenths a lap quicker than the Ferrari for me. Um, really good car. Um, the Ferrari, I'd say, is a little bit more planted. And I am saying a little bit. The BMW is a hugely planted car. Compared to the 911 RSR and the um, Ford, uh, much more planted. You get a good sense of confidence with your braking zones on exit of the bend. But um, the Ferrari was my um, my pick for your newcomers to a GTE but the BMW is going to be my choice um, I'm, I'm building up a rapport with it it is a fantastic car it's got e brilliant exit speeds um, I love the braking on it it's um, it's a great car um, actually all the GTEs are pretty impressive cars when I did this video for the GT3s there was more of a larger golf in what I felt in performance and grip levels whereas this I mean the top speeds between the fastest and the slowest was two miles an hour and to be honest that really just comes down to confidence on the exit of that of the last bend because obviously that gives you more exit speed which evolves into higher top speed so all in all very impressed so my pick is the bmw and it set the fastest lap but my pick for any newcomers would be the 408 gte 
Okay, guys, if you've, um, you're a GT racer, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what you drive. Let me know what works for you because, remember, this is subjected to me and my driving style and the fact that for three of those vehicles, I've only done three laps. So do keep that in mind, but I wanted that to be the theme of the video. I could have quite easily spent an hour learning each car and uh, giving you my results on maximum performance and the learning curve, and then we could have evolved into setups, but I wanted this video to be about a new guy coming into the GTE and how they felt. And uh, now you know my thoughts. All right, like if you like this video, it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, bell notification if you want to know when the next one comes. But other than that, I'll catch you in the comments or on social media. All right, guys, thank you very much. Catch you later.